have no idea what's coming. You get what I mean? Good God, get a grip, girl. And I, oh. No tea, no shade. All tea, all, all shade. All shade. That's on you, baby. You have to work that out, and I can't help that. We don't know if America's ready for you. So um, then and coming what, out. Oh. Yeah, because I was about to say, you know, you add in all of those layers. So how do you come in out? happen you're being a christian haitian haitian american in mm -hmm. new york especially brooklyn i'm guessing 90s or 2000s decade that was about mm, 2000 i want to say i probably came out around 2006 yeah mid 2000s yeah, yeah mid 2000s that like yeah i was i i think i was about 20 21 years old okay, and uh, yeah Very and you know yeah so i had started my first job that which was pretty stressful i was working for like a major financial firm like that was stressful um i was starting to get to know myself well i, I had started already getting to know myself but now i was like yo like now i need to be who i am like i think i'm very sure who i am and so you know the first person i came out to was um one of my brothers um i had a conversation with him and i remember breaking down during the conversation because um i was just like uncomfortable telling him this and i felt bad for him even now to this day because i kind of felt like oh you're my younger brother but i gotta tell somebody and you're the closest one i could i feel like i could tell this to and you'll get it or i hope you get it so that was really tough but it was even harder when I had to um, tell my my mom. That was really tough because I could still remember um, I became very depressed about it. And when I was explaining it to her, coincidentally, she had her Bible in her hand. And oh. when I said it, I could see the moment when she clutched the Bible. So that was an interesting and really hard experience. But the other part I remember was um, the mental health effect of it because I was depressed. Um, I was at a crossroads and I didn't know how to deal with it. I sat down with a counselor. Um, it wasn't just a counselor, it was a, a doctor and a group of interns who were all in the mental health field. And they asked me to tell them my story. And um, one of them asked me like, why do you feel like this is so bad? And I remember saying to her, um, no lie that, uh, you know, I worked really hard to get here. I don't wanna embarrass my parents. That's a big part of my culture. I finally finished college. I have this great job etc and they're very proud of me and now i'm gonna make them ashamed because um now i'm gonna have to tell them that i'm lgbt and then i told them also um i have certain ambitions in life i think i could be a leader in my community but who is going to vote for how for a gay black man to be their um senator or anything like that and that's how i felt at the time and i remember that's what i said but just a few years after that, and I don't mean like two years after that, but a good four years after that, I got involved in um, elected campaigns, volunteering for other people, looking at them as like, oh, you know, you can do this, but I can never do this because, you know, I have, I can't. And um, lo and behold, one of those electeds that I was pushing for, she encouraged me to run for a Democratic State Committeeman. And I didn't win the first time, but I ran, I won the second time I ran. And my community voted for me and they voted for me again and again. And so here we are, you know, you never know, um, but it's not just a function of me. I would love to say it's just a function of me, but it's a function of my community um, accepting me and coming to terms with the fact that my talents and my gifts can be beneficial to them. That is great. I mean, also too, you know, I know you said it's just not you, but it starts with you. Yes. The belief, you have to believe in yourself. I mean, just from someone who lived through depression for a good decade in my life. And it was because I was living in self-doubt. And mm -hmm. from being super confident to going into self-doubt, it was just such a drastic change. And then getting out of it, I'll tell you, it's been one of the greatest blessings in my life. And even though, yes, not everything works out in your favor, but when they do, the very first thing you know is it starts with you because you believed in yourself um and i mean that's that's how you make things happen and and i this is why i'm looking forward to your win next month in june or june because this is going to come out the top of june so i'm looking Amen. forward to your win because it starts with you and you have our community support oh uh, man <laughs>
the breakdown.